Oh, we have indeed. And this goes to show you, you have to be very careful when you're on foot with elephants because this is another section of the herd that we didn't even notice. And as we were moving along, Jean-Dre managed to spot them in the distance. And we then had to move quite quickly to get back to our termite mound again. Now you can see they're quite aware of what's going on because they caught our scent. They crossed exactly where we were. Ah, and it's the herd with the female with the short trunk. You see she's got the short trunk, the one that's in the middle. So this is a really nice herd. We see them quite often. And they've spent quite a bit of time here over the last few weeks. We've seen the kind of her moving around a lot in this northern section. So great to see her again. But I'm just staying quite quiet because they're far more aware of the other than what the others were because they came across where we were walking. So they picked up our scent and also saw us trying to get back to this termite mound. So just trying to stay nice and quiet so that we don't give them too much of a reason to come this way. Look at the little baby chasing the starlings. So she's just making sure that the babies are protected. So John Michael, you're wondering what's the furthest a herd of African elephants has traveled? Well, I'm not sure that there is a, de a definite number that's been recorded, but the elephants here in the Kruger Park area, way back before we established national parks, were believed to travel from here all the way up to Tanzania, which is over 2,000 miles. So that's a very, very long way. To move and that's probably sort of the longest that I've heard of but you'll find in Botswana they still do move quite a bit they still kind of go in to long treks from the Chobe River down into the Savuti Marsh and even here in the Kruger some of the bull elephants will traverse big distances they'll cover probably easily sort of three four hundred kilometers as they move from north to south so it just depends on the individual but the herd structures themselves or the herds themselves typically don't move too much anymore and that's because of civilization too many communities in the way between each of these sort of game reserve areas and so the elephants can't actually bypass those areas and sort of traverse those areas much anymore um, and so their movement is far more limited but like i say back before sort of huge amounts of settlement we found that elephants would move all the way from here in South Africa to Tanzania which is an absolutely incredible journey and you can imagine how arduous it must have been and it's probably what's why it's led to increased numbers within this area is because these elephants are no longer moving over such large distances the young and the old are not being put through as much sort of pressure and therefore there's a much better survival rate and the numbers then grow a lot quicker but isn't it amazing how an elephant who's lost the tip of her trunk is still able to suck up water still able to survive you can see she's perfectly healthy she's raised a family those are in all likelihood all of her youngsters that she's had over her lifespan so this is an absolutely incredible thing to see that even in, in sort of nature something with a deformity like that is still able to survive and to sustain itself what a special experience you can see they're sniffing the dung from the other elephants that were here previously just smelling who these are Ooh, Roshni, this is an interesting one. You want to know how I feel being on foot so close to them. Well, it's difficult to describe in sort of one word. It's this sheer amazement, really, to be able to sit this close to a wild herd of elephants and to be able to see them at such close proximity and not really interfere in their lives too much is the most amazing feeling. It's just is very little like it. Your heart beats at a million miles an hour. You kind of get a little bit sort of nervous at times as they get a little bit closer, but it is just probably sheer amazement more than anything else.